Hey, Bobby here, and I was working with one of my private coaching clients, Steve, the other day, and Steve has run into a dilemma that a lot of guys face when they finally get good at attracting women. They have trouble keeping the ones they really want. Steve told me a story about how he had recently met a girl through a mutual friend, and he's telling me about her. She was hot, smart, totally into me, right? He's saying, we're talking almost every day. He explains all this to me. Then she went cold. All of a sudden, I could tell things had changed, right? He's telling me that he could just feel in his gut. We've all had that feeling, right? We just feel in our gut that it's over. And sure enough, a week later, she started making excuses why she couldn't hang out anymore. And finally, she was gone. So what did Steve do wrong? Well, it was three main things. And pay attention because these three things might be holding you back too. So here's the three reasons a girl will generally lose interest or go cold on you. I had Steve send me some transcripts of his text messages with her, and I also asked some pretty intimate questions about how he felt about her and how he expressed those feelings to her. So the first thing was he was way too needy. Yes, an obvious one. But here's the thing with neediness. Most guys assume because they feel a certain way towards a girl that she feels the same way. And they think, ah, I can finally drop the game. Unfortunately, you can't. As I scanned over Steve's text chats, I noticed that he continually sent her things like, what are you doing today? And he always seemed to want to be in contact with her. And he never ended the exchanges first. He was never the one to, 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 to end the text exchange. And he also always expressed major disappointment the few times that she turned down one of his invites to go out. When a girl's still making her mind up about you, you've got to avoid putting any pressure on her to make a quick decision. This is because it almost always ends the way you don't want, right? It's going to be the choice you don't like. The best way to do this is never make up your mind about a girl too soon. Be the one holding out to make sure that she's what you really want, right? And the ironic thing is that when you take this attitude, you'll find that she becomes the one that gets a little bit needy. Uh, the second thing that Steve did was he had insecurity. While Steve's game dramatically improved over the past year, he still had the self-image of a guy who got picked on in high school and was never quite comfortable around the cool crowd. What a lot of dating gurus fail to tell you is that once you start scoring better looking women, you're going to have to start socializing with a different crowd and you've got to be comfortable in those situations. Steve wasn't and his insecurity was obvious. Steve had what I refer to in my self-esteem blueprint is the us versus them mentality against hot chicks and alpha guys and he still resented the way that he wasn't part of this club and he tried to make him feel better by criticizing them and pointing out their deficiencies which only served to make him come across as petty and insecure to the woman. The third was lack of ambition. Younger guys can get away with a lack of ambition, but once you're over 25, a woman immediately recognizes where you fit on the totem pole. And most women much rather prefer to be with a guy who has the attitude of, I'm going to conquer the world. On the other hand, Steve worked a job that he hated. He bitched about it constantly. Um, ambition turns women on, period. A poor me attitude just as quickly turns them off. If you want a woman to be excited about being with you, you need to be excited about your future, about where you're going in life. Make her want to come along for the ride. Make yourself an opportunity that she can't pass up on, that she wouldn't dream of going cold on. As you can see, keeping a girl interested in you after you've attracted her is a much more internal thing. Now, you can fake a girl out in a bar. You can fake her out for a few dates, but you're not the total package internally. You can bet your last penny that she's going to realize it sooner rather than later. Point blank, Steve lacks social value. Now, I'd like to invite you to a free training called Three Steps to Display Status, Power, and Social Charisma. Eliminate your nice guy behavior for good and avoid the friend zone forever. It's completely free. I do a couple of live sessions a week where I break down how a guy like Steve can transform into a more socially powerful, high value man.
because, and write this down, an attractive woman will never stay with you if she has more social value than you do. So click the link and register for this free training session and leave a comment below and let me know what you think.